It's very bright. Well. My throat is really bad. Like my throat is dry. My tooth is like rotten. I do brush my teeth, by the way. Um, I don't smoke, so I'm like, why? But I think it's just been happening for a long period of time. It hurts though. It's 20 past 12 and I just feel extremely tired. And I'm in quite a like negative overthinking mindset right now because I'm thinking of like stuff like like really deep shit like we're existing on a planet in the middle of like the universe and we're very high up right now and I'm scared of heights but like I'm actually living very fucking high up and um, it's quite difficult to comprehend and then I think too deeply about it it makes me freak out and then um, I'm also thinking about how like I'm 22 and like Usually when women are older, like, they are usually, like, a lower mate value. But, like, I don't all... I don't... When I'm having these thoughts, it doesn't mean this is just how I think. It's just, like, different thoughts that pop into my mind. So it doesn't mean this is what it is. I'm open to changing, and usually my thoughts change quite a bit. Like, they can go very positive as well. And So, like, say if I say, like, oh, women have a low mate value when they're, like, 25. Well, then when I'm positive, I can, like, flip in and be like, oh, well, like, being older is great because it means you've lived for longer or some crap like that. But right now my mind is just spiralling into, like, negative thoughts of, like, right, I'm 22, so I need to get, like, I need to, like, travel the world, like, do as much as possible in my early 20s because this is, like, the prime time of my life. Um, and, like, a lot of people actually do not like older women when I'm, like, 25. And I just, it's hard to verbalize it because in my head, it's like just loads of different things are happening. And I'm just so exhausted and it's hard to explain. And it's making me feel like scared to age and stuff because it's like, but also because I'm autistic, I don't like change as well. So it's making me freak out that everything's gonna get taken away from me when I die and stuff. Like I won't, I won't be alive anymore and I won't be here anymore. It feels weird that I won't exist as myself, but then I guess when I'm dead I won't know about it, but then it's like I don't, I don't know, it just feels really weird. And then uh, yesterday was kind of weird as well because I woke up and I was really feeling really sensitive and but passionate at the same time. I was like sad but optimistic as well, like back and forth. And I was like, I kept crying and I was like just thinking of all like things that I feel insecure about or things that make me feel sad in life and I don't know I just keep deep thinking a lot and I wish I could properly explain it but it's quite difficult to explain it just really messes my head when I'm thinking like this and it's like then I try and get out and I'm like oh it's just thoughts like they don't mean anything like we're all gonna die anyway mm. but yeah I'm struggling to like get out of bed and do stuff because I'm like really feeling quite anxious and scared. It is really weird because sometimes I'll be like really happy and I'll be like seeing like the good in everything and right now it's like I see the good in things but I also see how good things can get taken away like your youth gets taken away, your life gets taken away, love can get taken away and it's like I want to be happy, I want to be young and I want to be in love and right now I am but it makes me unhappy because that can get taken away. Does that make sense? So then it's like, oh, I'm gonna waste being young, worrying about it all going away from me. I don't know why my brain thinks like that. I don't think like this all the time. But these, when I'm spiraling into negative thoughts, this usually does happen though, these kind of thoughts. But it's usually like different themes and stuff, so. Because when I sing, I can't just go back to what I needed. It comes out naturally. Okay, you ready? Are we, are we both standing in here? Yeah. There you go, that's perfect. 
Take That's six out of it. That's six. I can't do it, now. Anything that gets ruined, like. For me, it could take you so long to finally get shit right when I actually get it right and it gets ruined. I can't, I just fixate on it because I can't get back to that anymore. Like, I was singing, I was really happy, and then it got interrupted. And because I'm autistic and I've got ADHD, I struggle to get back to my task when it gets interrupted because then I just ruminate on negative things that make my brain actually want to die, which is obviously why the suicide rate for like autistic people is higher because we just want to die and I don't know what to actually do and I feel really upset about it because now I don't feel confident to sing anymore. I was really happy in singing and I was confident and now I just don't feel confident at all. I don't want to do anything. And interrupted me and then I um, got stressed out because I had like done this really nice like sort of key and sort of tone that I liked and I couldn't get it back so I freaked out and then I lost my confidence and I couldn't sing for like an hour and then I was procrastinating but then I got confident again and I started singing again and then um, I've asked Ben to help me um, by giving me some advice because he's, he's a singer and he's been learning it for like many years oh. And it's pretty good. So I've asked him for like, um, I don't want him to like sugarcoat and be like, oh, you're amazing if you're not, because that's just embarrassing. I don't want to get like, overconfident. And also, because um, like, I feel like Ben sometimes sugarcoats to people. I just want him to tell the actual truth. So, Kyra's vocals are really, like, her, her natural voice, like, is really good. And her natural relative pitch is brilliant as well. Um, so she can relative pitches like where you sing something and then they can sing it back to you, uh, which is also really good. Um, I think uh, she's when she's confident, she's really good. Um, but to to improve, I do believe that you know, even though she's confident, I think she's scared to sing too loud. I think she's scared to belt, like properly belt her voice. Um, yeah, but the guy's scared of people around the guy, mate. Yeah, yeah. Um, so I think she needs to work on that because, you know, it'll, it'll improve her vocals so much if she can belt properly. And then there's also, like, the breathing, so she struggles sometimes running out of breath. So she needs to figure out, like, if there's um, certain phrases, like, uh, between words or something like that. It comes with practice, so you learn when to breathe, but I can also teach you a few techniques as well. Uh, and then you said something about S and P's or something. Yeah, yeah. So when when you're singing, your S's and your P's are really like loud, but that's that's normal because they're. Like, Would you put, my S's and my P's? So that that so so like eyes. yeah so like they're percussives, so they're very loud. It's like a there's, there's a lot of sound pressure coming out of your mouth. It's like higher SBL. I think overall it's really good, and your singing is really good. However, there's, there's, a, there's a lot of stuff to improve on. But that's like with everything. Like I'm okay at singing, but the technicality that I'm not very sure about. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. So, so you're gonna. I just do it so I'm gonna teach you. Like, but because we do like, music in the university, I kind of need to learn it. So yeah. it's it's easy. As well, once you get it down, like you'll be like, all oh, right, that's pretty easy. Like especially breathing as well.
skies I was a puppet for your terrible eyes You're a master of disguise I was a puppet for your wicked mind You're a master of disguise Come on, let's go Master of disguise Master of disguise I was a puppet in your eyes Oh my god, just walk your hat. Blend it says blended all this. Friends of Bama Shade look really cute on me. I got them new. Hey! And I don't have my feet. I've had bad past experiences where I had sandals and stuff, I've had my feet. Oh, and Ben got new shoes as well. Some black converse, you can't see them. Oh, I was a puppy in your eyes. Do you know the What? Do you know the microtones? Master of disguise, I was a puppet for your wicked mind. You're a master of disguise. Man, you burned my hair. You're a master of disguise. My camera's like really weird because it's on automatic, but it's just it keeps acting much to manually like uh I can't really like focus it. Fell in love with a psychopath. First he had a pretty face, pretty love. You really turned me on with your charm, hot charm. Didn't think it would leave me alone. Pretty soon everything turned sour. You used to see me every hour. I, you used to see me every hour. You were the one I used to admire. I was your deepest desire. Oh. No, they use it for dinner. Ah, the fear. Mm. That's our room at the top. This one. Yeah. Way back on. He has this as his wallpaper. And he took it off me for four. <laughs> the pool is closed. Um, this should not be for free. And Ben wants us to dip our feet in. I love the ripples. <laughs> I didn't realise before, but I was I was sitting up there, maybe in our room, and the water goes over the edge and behind the clouds. We are rebels. Never. Rock and roll signs. Okay, signs. Put your finger in. My thing. Come in. Oh, 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 oh,